So one great thing about what technology has brought us is it's brought us um, pastors and teaching that we haven't had yes. accessible yep. to us, yep. whether it's uh, people watching Tim Keller or Matt Chandler That's sermons right. or reading yep. Pepper's books or blogs yep. through the yep. Gospel Coalition. Yep. And, and a, amazing side effect is this, is you see this swell of, of young men who are coming who are interested in, in ministry in, in the yep. broad sense yep. of the term. Yep. Um, but so many of those are torn between their, in, in their current situation, there's there's no pastoral jobs, yep, and yep. then do they even want a pastoral yep, job? Yep. And so how should those guys be thinking about it who are torn between kind of two, yep. getting paid by yep. the church yep. or working as the church getting yep. paid by yep. Walmart? Yeah, that's right. No, and, and, and that's tough, and, it, and it really the answer is kind of individual, but I think what they've got to realize is that all of them may not be called to um, be paid by the church. I mean, for example, uh, I'm very involved in my church. I spend a lot of time uh, in leadership. I teach a Sunday school class almost every Sunday that I'm there um, and do a lot of things like that that, that I consider very important ministries. Um, and yet I'm a layperson. I'm not ordained. Um, I'm, fortunately, because of what I do now, I get to preach occasionally. Um, but I think that there's a huge opportunity for uh, men and women, particularly young men and women, to come to the church and really use their gifts in the church. I mean, it's what we're supposed to do. Uh, you know, the, um, uh, Paul's letter says, you know, when you come to church, someone brings a song, someone brings a prayer, someone brings a teaching. So we're supposed to take the gifts that we've gotten and use them in the church, whether we're paid for it or not. So I think um, that that's important. I also think that a lot of young people should go into the work and into the church and begin to do that type of work to really see if that's what they're gifted. I mean, I've, I've talked to a lot of young men particularly that said, oh, I'm called to preach. But when I hear them, I'm not so sure that's true. So I think there's a sense that you should go to your local church and begin to, to try to discover what God's really gifted you to do in the church. And it may grow into something that you become uh, vocationally employed by the church or it may not.